On the southern tip of Everglades National Park sits the Flamingo Visitor Center, now more than 60 years old. This bright pink modernist building has weathered the footsteps of countless park visitors and the impacts of several major hurricanes, but it's now getting a much needed renovation. While construction work continued all around us, we recently got a sneak peek into what's happening inside this distinctive and historic building. Hi, we're here with uh, Allison Gant, who is a, a spokesperson for Everglades National Park. We're standing up on the balcony of the Flamingo Visitor Center overlooking the beautiful Florida Bay. And uh, you might be able to tell that this is a construction zone because we have hard hats on. And Allison was gonna tell us a little bit about the history of this building and why it's under construction right now. So to start with, Allison, I understand this is a Mission 66 Visitor Center. I thought maybe you could explain a little bit about, about what Mission 66 is. Sure. So the Mission 66 program was really preparing for the 50th anniversary of the National Park Service mm -hmm. in uh, 1966. Uh, so the 10 years before, they started a program to revitalize uh, National Park Service facilities. Uh -huh. Designed by prolific National Park Service architect Cecil Doty, the Visitor Center was once the centerpiece of the Flamingo Visitor Use Area and included a small museum, ranger station, and a restaurant. So several visitor centers were created as part of this effort across the national park system, is that right? Yes, correct, and uh, roads and trails and mm -hmm. uh, additional staffing and so a lot of efforts around Mission 66 to really bring us up to speed for that 50th anniversary. That's great. And so when was this particular visitor center built? So this happened in 1957, this one was built. Uh, we were one of, uh, I think, eight pilot parks that uh, piloted some of the Mission 66 programming. It was complete, started in um, early 1957 and completed the same year. Can you talk a little bit about the distinctive architecture of this building? Sure. This is uh, definitely features a lot of Miami modern, mo sorry, Miami, Miami modern Beautiful. architecture, <laughs> uh, and it's also National Park Service modern. So again, those sort of clean street, clean lines. Um, you'll notice that the uh, visitor center and this particular breezeway frames uh, the Florida Bay. So it really. Um, it's a modern structure, but then it also uh, integrates a lot of the elements, the natural elements around it. What's the um, significance of the pink color? Yeah, so uh, the pink and, and turquoise colors, you know, that definitely plays off of the, Mi the Miami uh, look and mm -hmm. uh, the tropical feel here in South Florida. So then how long was this visitor center in use then and what was it used for? Yeah, so uh, the side over here was the visitor center um, and then the other side used to have a restaurant and then a uh, pizza cafe, pizza bar cafe downstairs and uh, that was in place uh, through 2017 and after Hurricane Irma um, it had sustained a, a fair amount of damage um, and actually we have to go back. It's 2005 really impacted the restaurant facilities and the gift shop and all of that closed after two hurricanes in 2005. That was Irma and Katrina, I'm sorry, Wilma and Katrina. Wow. So it's been through a lot and it was time yeah. to re revitalize and rehabilitate this yes. building then. And so maybe you can talk a little bit about the work that's being done here sure. now then. So we're doing a full rehabilitation on the building. Um, we're going to keep many of the exterior features, obviously to preserve the historic fabric and the historic look of the, the architecture of the building. Um, though one of the first things is a, a new roof for the building and then the interior on both sides. It's really going to get a full rehabilitation. We're also repurposing some of the space. So the one side will now be for administrative use for the ranger station and then the other side will really be the visitor facility. So um, gift shop, orientation, interpretive exhibits, multi-purpose area, and just really showcasing the park and helping to educate visitors to what's going on here in Flamingo. That's great. Can you talk a little bit about the, what the nature of the new exhibits are going to be like? They're going to be pretty uh, immersive and comprehensive about yes, the park here. Definitely, yeah. So the downstairs will be an orientation area. It'll be open 24-7. Um, so people showing up at all hours are able to figure out what's going on. Also the backcountry permitting information will be downstairs. Um, upstairs will be uh, the bookstore and then um, interactive exhibits that talk about the wildlife, the history, the recreational opportunities here in Flamingo um, and, and its importance to the, the ecosystem and the resource. That's great. And uh, about when is it all going to be finished then? We're aiming for spring, uh, sorry, we're aiming for summer 2021. Is when we think that'll Sounds be good. Ready to go. <laughs>
Once completed, visitors will once again be treated to this iconic view of the Florida Bay. You might even spot a manatee.